Hey viewers, please don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Mr. Cool's family. Today's episode features some of the most shocking and incredible stories that will have you hooked from start to finish. So relax, and let us take you on a journey into the realm of love, betrayal, and unfaithfulness as the stories unravel. Story 1. My 23M wife 25F cheated on me two days ago after being together for six years married for four months. So I found out my wife cheated on me two days ago while I was at work. I'm still awake at 1am writing this after hours of thinking and not being able to sleep and trying to wrap my head around this. My wife and I have been together for six years and only married for four months. We have had our ups and downs throughout like any other relationship but for some reason the past couple weeks we have been arguing more than regular. We normally just talk through our problems and sort them out which I thought would happen, but apparently not. I got home Friday morning around 5 am, I work nights, and found she had fallen asleep with her phone in hand, I grabbed it to put it on charge for her and I flipped it and saw a notification from a guy the first never heard of and saw it was a dirty text, at first I was like it's nothing, but eventually curiosity got the better of me and I had to make sure. I'm not one to snoop but it was just not normal and I found that she had invited him around that evening when I left. You can guess what happened. My stomach just dropped and I got out of bed and just went into a full-blown panic attack to which she woke up and asked what was the matter I gave her her phone and just left. I've barely slept and when I do I just have nightmares, she has said everything you can think of but said she will not give an excuse I packed a bag and am staying at my parents place and I feel like I have lost everything and have no idea what to do so I came here. I will thank anyone who responds in advance and will try and answers any questions and if you have any advice it will be much appreciated. My friend, this is my advice to you. It doesn't look like there is much coming back from this. But right now you only need to do a few things. Breathe. You are somewhere safe. Lean on your family. Try not to tell the entire world as that could complicate whatever you choose to do. Tell people who are guaranteed to have your back and follow your lead. Get a consultation with a lawyer. Find out what it takes to divorce in your locale. Take the space and time you need so you can really figure out what you want. And guess what? You can always change your mind. So don't put too much pressure in yourself to decide your entire future right now. Consider getting into counseling. You've suffered a trauma. It needs processing. Look into recovery resources. Story 2. My wife cheated on me but I don't know what to do. I just found out my wife had cheated on me with one of her friends. Before I get there, there is background information needed. First, our problem started when she said I wanted sex too much. I've only been in two other relationships and neither of them did I have sex so my sex drive is high. But I still listen and stop asking, leading into sex as much. From once a day to once every three days or more. Then I found out she texted her boss saying that she would fuck him because he would listen unlike me. I cried most of the time and when I confronted her, she just started smoking a cigarette. She then said she would leave me and when I asked what I can do to change that, she said she wanted for me to cheat on her. The rule was wear protection and no feelings involved. The problem for me was I fall in love real easily and sex was still very much a big thing for me. I did the deed but got caught in the moment and ended up catching feelings. I wasn't proud of it and hate me all you want I did deserve it. I told her what happened and she completely lost it, rightfully so. She still stayed with me and I became a lot more attentive to what she wanted. Money started to become an issue later and when I talked about it to her, she got mad at me and talked about how I shouldn't make her feel bad. I was the only one working and knew financially we couldn't afford things she wanted like clothes, shoes, jewelry, and etc. She wanted a house and we got one once she had a good paying job. We were happy. Then she got a lot of hours and came back tired. I would massage her and cook her food once I got off. Our sex life ended up slowly dying but I was fine with it. She thought though that I didn't find her attractive anymore. 
I would constantly tell her how gorgeous she looked but it came a norm for me and I thought we were at the boring stage of marriage where we are happy even in silence and subtlety. She then wanted to have a threesome. I said no multiple times and then said okay if it made her feel better. Backfired for her and she didn't like it. Lost her job and went into a depressive state. Tried to keep her cheered up. Then she got two new jobs. We were struggling with money so she wanted to and I told her one job was fine. Met new friends, felt happy again. Not so much with me. I stopped massaging her as much because it felt like a chore. It was almost every day but I still tried. She hung out with friends a lot because I didn't make her feel good. Then, she sleeps with a girl and catches the clap. She told me and at the time we didn't have sex as much. I wasn't mad because I did it to her. I was mad that she didn't tell me until she got her lab results. Went to get tested because she told me to and she got mad that I did. At this point I know she doesn't trust me. She goes out more, stoked helping to clean the house. Me and our roommate did it mostly. She says she wants a break and go live with friend. I'm hurt but understanding of it. She then goes on a trip with her friends and doesn't tell me that she went with a guy who said he loved her. We had each other's media and I went to hers to watch her PRN to masturbate. Found out that she was laying in bed with guy friend and had videos saved of them saying I love you and kissing. It hurt a lot more than sex I'll say that. Confronted her and she got mad that I was going to cut her off. She told me she was gonna tell me and wants to work things out. Should I? I've been wanting to help her but it always seems to backfire on me. She doesn't want to end things but is still mad at me because I act like I'm perfect. I know I'm not and I never plan on saying so. But I would still own up to my mistakes no matter how bad it is. Dude, this is for you. Just walk, no run away from this relationship dude. I only read the first two paragraphs and all I saw was a huge manipulation playing out by her. I would hope that you have a higher sense of self than that. Gather evidence, then get a divorce. Then once cleared with your lawyer you can go scorched earth on her and her boss. Do this then enjoy the next chapter in your life. Some people are just life lessons disguised as relationships. This isn't your fault. Story 3. My M27 wife F28 almost cheated and her pursuer is engaged, what do I do? Okay, so in December just before Christmas my wife who just joined the Air Force had some time off and so she took a few days away to get a certificate in something she always wanted to get. A week before this, I was crying explaining to her that I thought she didn't love me anymore and that I wanted our marriage to last, but always seemed like she didn't care about me anymore. She tried her best to reassure me she loved me, and we agreed she would take the time she was away to reflect on our marriage. We have two beautiful kids together, but I was working full time and so naturally I was a bit hesitant to let her go because I needed some help with the kids over the week. But we worked it out and she went. Fast forward to the end of her trip, when she comes back and is playing with the kids, I have this feeling I can't quite shake, so I decided to look at her phone. I discovered her old boss and our family friend has been kind of sexting with my wife and had implied they saw each other or wanted to see each other while she was away essentially. When I confronted my wife about it, she was embarrassed and ashamed and said it was stupid but was just some game. They started playing and they never saw each other and she feels stupid because she was not attracted to him, but just like the feeling. I believe her in that they haven't done anything physical as I checked some timelines and car records, but just means I can't trust her, and I still have trust issues with her. Naturally I'm pretty sad about the whole ideal, but I truly love her. And she apparently loves me. We will try to work through it hopefully. The guy however clearly is making moves on my wife though, and the biggest kicker, he is recently engaged. Now my biggest question, her old boss and our friend was recently engaged, and I know his partner doesn't know about my wife. And my wife is adamant we don't tell her what happened, but I feel that my wife is just trying to protect herself and not think what she would want to know if she was in her shoes. 
I think I should send the messenger screenshots to his partner and also explain what I think happened and just let her know she should talk to her partner about it if she doesn't already know. Now we don't really know her that well which is why I haven't worried too much about it, but I think how much I would hate to be in her place and would probably want someone to tell me. I don't want to start a fight, but I don't know what to do. Can you guys help me? Hey brother listen. Your wife's behavior is abusive to you. Love is not a solid reason to tolerate abuse. Love yourself first. She needs to believe, bluff if necessary, you will divorce rather than live with someone you can't trust. Only she can rebuild trust. You can't help. Time alone doesn't. And she can't say, trust me. Surveys find people divorce for loss of trust as often as outright adultery. She should be in tears and willing to crawl through broken glass to save her marriage. Instead she is minimizing the long-term damage to her marriage, pretending it was harmless, and worse, protecting her pos affair partner from exposure. I guarantee if you take charge and expose them you will feel great relief in stress by taking control over your marriage. Story 4. Wife's AP is engaged, should I warn AP's fiancé? Hey, all. I just found this sub and wow. It's simultaneously nice and heart-wrenching to find there are so many others experiencing similar things. To the point, though. So, my wife and I's marriage hasn't been easy. But about six months ago, after noticing my wife acting weirder and weirder around me for a few weeks, I knew something was wrong. I had asked her if there was someone else and she said no. Well, after another week of weird behavior I asked again and she broke down and said that she'd been flirting with a guy at her work and they ended up kissing in his car. I choose to believe that's as far as it went physically. My wife has a condition that makes penetrative sex excruciatingly painful, hence our marriage not being easy when you can't have sex with the person you love, it's a strain. If the AP or anyone ever sees this, they'll immediately know who I am. So. Fuck you, AP, you patchy bearded dumb fuck. Forgive the digression. Anyway, I just have not been able to get past the distrust and paranoia since she's been acting cold towards me off and on all summer. She blames it on depression, that she never thought she'd do something like that and she doesn't even know who she is anymore. Yesterday I read her journal. Other than finding out that she's pro-conning whether or not to leave me, I found that she was writing about him texting her, they're interacting after she initially came clean to me. I called her out on things, but didn't mention I'd read her journal. IDKWTF to think. She's adamant that she wants to stay with me and that she's not doing anything with him anymore. Here's the real fucking kicker. Almost a year ago, before this shit happened, we had AP and his fiance over for dinner. That's right. Folks, this dickhead ate at my dinner table and then turned around and did this. But, at this point. IDK if his fiancé knows about him and his behavior. And she's about to marry this jerk. Part of me thinks it's not my place to torpedo another relationship. But a huge part of me really feels a moral imperative since I know that I'm required to act because not acting is wrong. If any of you could offer some advice, I sure would appreciate it. Sir, this is my opinion if you accept. She deserves to know so she can make the decision to marry or leave this guy. Also, it serves the purpose of blowing up your wife's little fantasy world with this guy. Sadly, your wife is in the affair fog and is addicted to those honeymoon chemicals like when you guys first dated. So, she is not going to be completely honest or forthright with you. Taking the fantasy into the light of day will expose her actions and his to the world. One thing cheaters are people doing something bad is that when it's put out there for the public to scrutinize, it reinforces how bad their behavior really is. Story 5. Should I contact my wife's app? I am at odds and want to contact the guy my wife is cheating me with. She asked for a divorce, and I later found out she has slept with a guy who was mentoring her at work. When I confronted her about it, she told me it is not cheating if we are separated. Even though we are not officially divorced. I want to send him a message and tell him that I know everything. Edit. Hi, guys. Thank you for all the advice. 
A bit of background, I cannot answer everyone individually. The mentorship started at the beginning of the year. I was excited because she started to become herself again, and helping her was all I wanted. But I started to get jealous as the last two weeks of July, he started calling her after work, and she would walk out and talk to him about work, but later it would turn to whispers, then one night, she was talking to him, and I was visibly upset, and she got mad put the phone down and told me she wanted a divorce. I granted her the wishes the more I asked to work things out, the more she said no. We started the proceedings, and it was only after I was served and we signed the settlement agreement I found all the messages on her phone. What I read killed me inside. Contacting HR. Funny thing about that is that both work in HR, he is a manager for staff development, he has also been divorced for years now, and she is an HR officer. I discovered that they do not have policies against office affairs. I have thought about emailing all the pictures I took to the boss but realized it would come back to bite me in the ass. What if she loses her job? Then I'm stuck with all the bills as we have two boys. My main concern is the boys while I was out taking care of them, she was out with him. Suing him, I asked my lawyer about suing him, but as I live in another country, I found out that the law was abolished so I can do nothing about it. Conclusion I guess I'm just feeling betrayed and humiliated, and my ego cannot take this pain. There is nothing I can do. My dear sir, you need to do three important things. First, keep any information you have to yourself. I'll call your WW, the enemy, to help better frame the conversation. Would you tell your enemy any intelligence or strategy? Listen to your lawyer about what you can spread. Some people want to spread the information far and wide. Your lawyer will know best. If you want after the divorce is over create a packet to compile to send at the end of the divorce. I know our ego wants damage control but protect your dollar and your kids if applicable. Second, lawyer up. We are here for great emotional support or navigate conversational pieces. When fighting the enemy in divorce court you want to get the best information from those who do this professionally. You do need to arm yourself with good counsel. They will advise how much cheat is for your state. Some states like CA doesn't care at all so finding out and gathering evidence is a fool's errand. Some states will count it at fault and can help you get a pound of flesh with alienation of affection aka AOA. Only your lawyer will know this. Don't waste any more time. Third, freeze all credit. Cancel joint credit cards, bank accounts, anything where she has access to money. You want to be fair but don't get taken advantage. The enemy will rob, kill, steal and destroy. And that's a wrap for today's captivating episode. We're grateful for your time and hope you found our take on relationships and infidelity to be just as intriguing as we do. Your voice matters to us, so please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. We're so thankful to all of our dedicated viewers who tune in and join us on this journey. Your continuous support means the world to us, and we're eager to bring you even more fascinating tales in the future. Until next time, goodbye and see you soon.